Yo guys, how's it going? It's Arknade here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a summer banger. Somebody help me, I need a savior tonight. tonight. Bye, bye. Now the track you just heard is officially released. It's out on all platforms and it's called Tonight. And I've created this with up and coming singer and good friend of mine, Aaron Godfrey. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure to check out the full tune. And without further ado, let's get into it and break this track down. Let's go. So I'm gonna break this down into five different sections. We're gonna do the drums, then we're gonna do the bass, then we're going to do the instruments, then we're going to do the effects, and then we're going to do the vocals. So before anything, I'm going to pick a BPM and a key. So in this project, as you can see at the top here, I picked 126 BPM. And then I picked the key C minor. Now you can pick any key you like. It doesn't really matter. If you want to do a bit more research on what key to pick, feel free to look into that. I believe popular keys are C major and G major, and then you've got their counterparts E minor and A minor. So that's something to work with if you like. Or you can just copy me and go C minor. And with that out the way, let's start on the drums. So as you can see here, all my drums are arranged. So we've got a kick, then we've got claps, and then we've got hats and percussion. So for the kick, I have used a plugin called Big Kick. I've used a plugin called Big Kick, and this is quite a popular plugin. I believe that Disclosure used this exact same plugin. And then I've just adjusted the settings on here, as you can see, and used, I think I used the default kick that it came with because I quite liked it and then what I've done is placed it placed a kick drum every single beat so it sounds like this and then post processing I've EQ'd it so I've put a lot of emphasis on the 140 range and then got rid of some of the highs and then some of the very lows and then I've added a decapitator and put the drive quite up I think I used oh yeah I used a preset drum fattener 3 on this and then I've just got a limiter just to make sure it's not clipping and made sure it's in mono and that's the kick and then this kick drum gets sent to my drum bus which in turn gets sent to the master channel next I've added a clap now because this is a summary tune I haven't added a clap I haven't added an actual clap I've added a click so if you search for click you'll get something that sounds like this. And this just gives it that summary vibe. And then I've added this every other beat, as you can see. So on the second and the third kick drum. And then I have just EQ'd it slightly just to get the high end. And then I've put it into a clap bus where I've added quite a few more post-processing and this is just more EQ some saturation making sure it's in mono and then I've added some decapitator and then these plugins are currently turned off we've got a EQ and some reverb but these these will be used at certain points in the track so they'll turn on if there's like a transition coming up and then of course I've got my limiter at the bottom so that sounds like this. And then all I've done is added some swing to the drums. So I've 
search long and far for a hat loop that has lots of swing in it. And then I've dragged that in, made it the same BPM, EQ'd it, and you get something that sounds like this. So this forms the intro. So this is the first 16 bars. And then the second 16 bars, all I've got is the click clap playing. And that continues all the way to the drop. And then on the drop, I have simply added another clap, which is going into that same clap group I just showed. And this clap has literally got an EQ on it. And then I've added another hat to go over the loop hat here. More of like a shaker style hat. And then that hat has just got some DS on it. I guess some of the highs were coming through. You can use DS on anything. You don't have to just use it on vocals. And then this is going to the drum bus. And altogether, that sounds like this. At the end of each four bars in the drop, I've just got a hat that's playing every step. And again, this is just a sample that I've shortened just to get this bit. It's been made a bit wider, a bit more stereo. Got some reverb on it and some distortion on it. And that just breaks it apart in the drop. And then this just continues throughout the drop until the end of the drop, where I use the if we go back to what I was talking about before, where the EQ and the reverb were turned off. This reverb turns on and activates a transition phase. Just on the last clap, as you can see here. And then it turns off and then all the other instruments come in. It's like a breakdown after the drop continue on into the second breakdown we don't have any drums and we just have that same clap click coming back in just before the drop and then the same drums repeat for the second drop until the end of the track so yeah that is the drums done it all comes down to sound selection you want a nice sounding clap you want a nice sounding kick then you want a nice clap to, to go with it and then you can layer the clap and then you just want really swing in hats, layer the hats, add some little variation at the end of each four bars, and you've pretty much done the hats. It really does come down to sample selection. If you've got any questions on that, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try and answer it as best as I can. Moving on to the instruments now. So the first thing we start with is a pad. And this is a pad that I found on Serum. It sounds like this. And this has these effects on it. If you want to copy it, I found it in this pack here. If you want to find it yourself. And then what I've done is created an automation as you can see here so what I've done is right click create automation for that and created automation for this and just gradually brought in the pad while the drums are playing in the intro and then it's playing at full volume with another pad layered over it until the drop so the second pad looks like this and this is very simple and then what I've done is I've used a plugin called scalar 2 to create the chord pattern chord progression so I found a 
I looked through these until I found one that I liked that was in C minor, which is our scale that we're that the track, which is the scale that the track is in. And this is basically just a music theory hack. So I looked through all these and made a progression that I liked. So it started with C minor, then to A flat major. F minor and then to E flat major and if I play this back to you now with the first instrument you can hear that And then as you can see, so it stays like this for the first pattern. The first pattern looks like this and it stays like this all throughout the, the intro and the first part of the build up. And then in the second part, I add another layer. So the root note for each one I add. And it sounds like this. And then I've layered it with this second pad style. and then it cuts off just before the drop. Which you can hear here. So for the final part of the instrument section, I've got another pad that comes at the end of each drum section. And it sounds like this. And this just adds a nice little transition between each section of the drop. So this pad is, I believe, very similar, if not the same as the pad two. It looks the same to me. And it's just these notes here. And all together with the rest of the elements, it sounds like this. It's really subtle, but it works really well. So that is all the instruments now done. In the breakdown, I experimented a bit with gross beat. And all that is, is you literally go on gross beat and experiment with all the different gates until you find one that sounds cool for the instrument. And you can just experiment with that in all your tunes. Gross Beat is a cool little a cool little plugin to use if you've got FL Studio. Right. Now before we get into the drop, let's look at the effect.
as my production level has advanced, I've noticed that a lot of advanced producers tend to not use as many effects. So the more advanced you get, the more creative you need to get with your effects. But in this tune, I've just used basic effects. So I've got a rain sample for the intro. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then I've just got a riser. And then an impact and a down filter. And then here I've got a sample riser in C minor. So rather than just using an uplifter, I can use a sample in C minor and it blends in better with the tune. And then this thing, this big thing along the bottom here is literally just a three times oscillator all on random. And then I've played a random note, selected it all and I have added some reverb, EQ'd it, added a filter and then right clicked, create automation, created automation and that creates your own riser. And then as you can see all these stop exactly where the instruments stop. And in the drop I have literally used just one extra noise effects which sounds like this. Literally just adding some texture in to keep it interesting. And then at the end of the drop, I have just transitioned with a riser and a fall. And then it pretty much just repeats itself until the end. And the FX are as simple as that. So that is the FX, the instruments and the drums all done. And in the next video, in part two, we're going to look at how we got the vocals together and the bass on the drop. Thank you all for watching. If you'd like access to some of these stems, you can get them on my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and drop a comment what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future. Make sure you're also subscribed and I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy.